St. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> has such a nice ring to it. I mean, the ups and the downs. Like, they should have a Six Flags ride for Aaron Rodgers or Disneyland or whatever's cool. Like, in Credit Coaster, get out of here. The Aaron Rodgers uh, plus fans plus the public career arc. And then there has to be, like, uh, just the Packers part of that roller coaster is hilarious. Like, what are Packers fans feeling about this? There was no discount. There was no giving back. There was no, there was a, you know, Devontae Adams is like, what's happening to me here because of the money? And now it's a different time and it's a different day and it's a different page being turned. And it's another day of training camps. There's 32 teams, but you think there was just one because that's what everybody's always talking about is what's swirling and whirling with this jet squad over here. Here it is, guys. Oh, that smiley St. Aaron Rodgers signing a two-year deal at a baby with the Jets and he therefore ergo what so have you punts on his ability to earn an extra 35 million dollars it is the biggest pay cut in NFL history which you already know as you already know that there's aliens uh in the world on the world in the on the earth who knows and look at this okay a couple of these guys are aliens Patrick Mahomes certainly is he's not on this list though take a look this is Aaron going from the highest, fourth highest paid quarterback, making over 50 a year, down to 13th. This means, guys, that he's no longer even the highest paid quarterback in New York, okay? And coincidentally, he'll be making the same money the Saints gave Derek Carr to outbid the Jets. Which was the win? Yeah, outbid the Jets earlier in the offseason. And... The Jets and the Giants, I was just saying, go Shane, Shane, go Shane, go, go Dable, everything going out with say, Jets win. The Jets just win. They're winning, they're winning. Now they got Dalvin Cook coming into town. This frees up so much cap space for the Jets, not just this year, not just like, let's have this baby window and we have to win now, but over the next two years. And obviously, this Dalvin Cook. Cook rumor mill has been surrounding a bit, but it's a real thing. He's flying to New York. It's got booked this morning. Uh, so Rogers made it clear during his press conference, guys, yesterday before the pay cut was announced that he is going to do everything, including bringing guys like Dalvin Cook potentially into the mix with the Halls and the Garretts and the handshake Michael Carters. That's everything going on. He's doing his part to make the most of his time as a New York Jet. The team gave up uh, significant uh, pieces for it just to be a one-year deal. Um, I'm aware of that. I think there was uh, you know, an awareness of that. Uh, now, again, anything can happen with my body or with the success we have this year. But I'm having a blast, so I don't really see this as a one-year and done thing. Aaron has been seen as so many different things. He has taken and played the bad guy hat, the um, pariah, the greatest ever, the media loves him, media hates him, he's a great team player, he's not a good this, he's a great that. It's so much, it's so, I'm mostly fascinated with how will this man in 20 years be remembered for his chapter in the NFL? You know, what What will that look like? Will different fan bases look at him differently? Will it be polarizing? Or will this sort of a move, and if it all works out and he wins a Super Bowl, will that define his legacy most of all, taking less? Because people love to point to Brady on that, and then people love to point to his ex Giselle. We can get to that with Gronk. Uh, but... There's this whole narrative of Rogers take less than Brady. Take look, Brady helped his team. He took a team friendly deal. Should we be telling players to do that? I don't know. Should we be charging quarterbacks with doing that? I don't know. He could. He certainly could have done that a few years ago with the Packers and and sort of bringing and keeping that team together in that group with Devontae. But whatever the case, it's done there now. He's here and he's setting up the Jets incredibly well for a two-year stretch. And if this ends up resulting in an elusive uh, second ring that puts him in an entirely different conversation among quarterbacks 20 years from now as we're looking back, um, even kill with, with Patrick Mahomes, who might have a few more when he's all said and done. It will be the most interesting character arc that I think we've ever seen in this league. And if it doesn't work out, 
just the pressure, just the pressure. On, like if you're showing up to practice and you know, and you're Dalvin Cook and you're signing, you're like, he took, he's basically paying what my salary, he's, he, he's eating my salary, what it is for me to eat these yards up on the field for these games. Are you giving so much more if it's off the rails? Does money make things sticky, the idea of it, the pressure? Or does it get everybody on the same page and show, I am this dude, I am this leader, I know what I want. Don't tell me I want MVP trophies. Don't tell, I want championships and I want that and I think I can do that here. It's all going swimmingly and I really want to go there. And I think we might be going there next week. So I'm going to ask Aaron Rodgers for 35 million because he seems to be just handing them out these days. It's great.